On October 27th, a fight between Kubrat Pulev and Huey Fury takes place in Bulgaria. This matchup, although having slid somewhat under the radar, is a very significant matchup in the heavyweight division, with the winner becoming the mandatory challenger to Anthony Joshua's IBF belt. For all the talk from boxers who shout from the rooftops that they are going to be fighting Joshua soon, the winner in Bulgaria will have a confirmed shot inside the next 12 months. The fight has been several months in the making, with three contenders, Dominic Brazil, Jarrell Miller and Dillian White all turning down the fight for various reasons, including because of money and the fact the fight was going to be in Bulgaria. Up steps Huey Fury, a 24-year-old contender from the United Kingdom, who jumped at the chance to face Pulev when the IBF ordered him to do so. This is a matchup of two top contenders who've both been to the mountaintop before, but have come up short in their respective title fights. Fury against Joseph Parker in 2017, and Pulev against Vladimir Klitschko in 2014. So this fight offers each man a chance at redemption a chance to fight for another title, and with Kubrat Pulev being 37 years old, it could represent his last chance to make a run for a title. The Bulgarian will come into the fight 13 years older than his rival, having not been in the ring since April 2017 when he decisioned a faded Kevin Johnson. Indeed, Pulev has fought sparingly since his sole loss four years ago. So there are questions about what Kubrat Pulev has left in the tank. and age and activity, it could well play a key part in this fight, and I'll touch on this again later on. Pulev, he's been training in Bulgaria out of the limelight, but from what limited footage has appeared on social media, he looks to be in great shape, as he usually is, and is likely to weigh in somewhere between 245 and 250 pounds. Pulev's fitness will need to be at its best for this fight, with Fury a noted mover who will look to tire the Bulgarian out with his activity. The 37-year-old is though adamant that he won't allow Fury to come to Bulgaria and win, saying Fury may have a future in the heavyweight category, but before that he has to go through me, and that's not going to happen. In Sofia there will only be one winner, and I think that is going to be me. Only God can tell. Maybe he has already ruled who the winner will be. It took us a lot of effort to organize this fight in Bulgaria. It took us a lot of time. Many contenders turned us down because they didn't want to come to Sofia. I insisted to box in my home country in front of Bulgarian audience. I love all people, but Bulgarians hold a special place in my heart because my blood is Bulgarian. The energy that the people in the audience will give me will make my punches lethal. I am concentrated to the max. I am committed completely to what is to come, but without extra pressure. There is no pressure inside of me, only expectation. I cannot wait to get in the ring. I cannot underestimate Fury. He is young, promising, hardworking, has a solid team behind him, and he can be very dangerous. The British School of Boxing is one of the best in the world. I, on the other hand, have around 300 amateur fights behind my back, and not a few professional. I have only lost to Klitschko. I have had other failures that also taught me things, and I am moving forward with more experience and more strength. Fury, meanwhile, says he's not scared of the challenge that lies ahead. No, I am not afraid. Um, I just said you have uh, come over here. I think Pulo is a very good fighter. Uh, give him all the credit for it, but that's why I'm here. I wouldn't have come here if I didn't think he was. Uh, I believe on the night it's going to be a great fight, uh, but that's the reason. He's a great fighter, but I believe I'm the best. I'm a, I believe I'm going to take over the heavyweight division. I'm the young rising star of this thing. I just say to you, God get my Spulev. This is just a stepping stone. He's just another opponent. No, no hard feelings against it. It's just a fight. So after that, get on to the next, hopefully Anthony Joshua, move on. But like I say to you, I'm not moving past Pulev, I do think he's a good fighter, but that's what I need to do. I'm not here to avoid anyone, I'm here to fight the best, I'm here to prove that in his own backyard. 
The 24-year-old who has been grafting away out of the limelight in preparation for this fight says his training regime has been hell. Basically he's eat, sleep, train, repeat 24-7 uh, all the time is, uh, in this camp. It's just brutal hard work uh, 24-7, so six days a week, one day of rest. Old school hard work and graft, blood, sweat and test. No, just eat clean food, uh, lots of uh, food, uh, not about 5,000 calories a day, probably more. Uh, Basically, yeah, a lot of calories. Fury's trainer, his father, Peter Fury, has no doubt that his son is ready for the challenge of Kubrat Pulev. He's always the hardest. He goes through life and death in the camp, so the fighting's easy, but believe me. What were uh, the main points of your preparation now? Train hard, expect every outcome, expect the best Kubrat Pulev in all of his career, and that's what we've trained for. Yeah? Exactly. Uh, will we see the best Huey Fury in uh, his career? 100%. You're going to see a different fighter, you're going to see a better fighter. The thing is, I think this kid's a phenomenal at just 24 years of age. And that's what we're coming here to do. You're going to see just how special he is. Are you worried that the matches in Sofia, so the, the attendants will be supporting Pulet? And it will be an advantage for him? Are they all in the ring as well? There's two men in the ring. There's no matter. I hope, I hope it's full of pool left supporters. Great, fantastic. More come the better. It's going to be a great fight. And Fury and his team are in Bulgaria. They arrived one week ahead of the fight. Yeah, it's been great. We've had a, uh, we've had a great welcome here. And, uh, like you say, it's lovely to be in the country now, just settling down and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, I want to thank everyone who's come out. Thanks for the support. And it's going to be one hour of the night. It's definitely going to be a night to remember, that's for sure. And in terms of the fight itself, I could see this really being a technical war of attrition. And I think the boxer who establishes dominance with his jab in the early going is likely to pick up those early rounds. The biggest question for me, as I alluded to earlier, is where is Kubrat Pulev really at? His inactivity could be a major factor in this fight, and I'm sure Huey Fury will want to make the 37-year-old work, make the 37-year-old chase him around to some extent, to test those older legs. But Fury, he can't just be flicking out his jab and jumping on his bike, because just doing that, it won't be enough, as he found out against Joseph Parker. He's going to need to pick his spots and engage with Kubrat Pulev, and it can't just be every now and then. It's got to be a few times around at least. If he does carry some more aggression like he did in the Sam Sexton fight, then that will bode well for Fury. Although if he's sitting down on his punches a bit more, trading more he could well be open to counters himself but he does need to find a blend of aggression and movement utilize his ring craft his fitness his footwork keep kubrat pulev working for most of each round get kubrat pulev resetting his feet often and pulev i'm sure will be looking to cut the ring off work behind his ramrod jab and it really is a weapon and I'm sure he'll be shooting shots to Huey Fury's body. And going to the body early and often, it could well pay dividends later in the fight if he can manage to take a bit of wind out of Fury's sails, slow him down. I know some are expecting that this fight will devolve into an absolute bore fest, that it won't be worth watching, it'll be a battle of the jabs. And it could well be that early on, but because these two are well matched and there's so much on the line, I'm expecting them to get more aggressive as the fight wears on and as they make in-ring adjustments to try get on top. But Fury, he does need to start strong if he hopes to get a decision. And I'm not that's not an indictment, I'm not saying anything against judging in Bulgaria. But what he does need to do is rack up clear and decisive rounds as opposed to 50-50 rounds which might go the way of the home fighter who's got a partisan crowd cheering on his every punch. But my gut does say this goes to points. And Fury, he will need to turn on a bit of Mick Hennessy's Shades of Ali. But it is going to start with a jab, this fight. And probably it's the single most important punch that's going to be thrown in this fight. And it will be thrown a lot, you can imagine. Could this fight end in a stoppage? Well, there's certainly some potential for that. But I'm not expecting one especially early on. I think both guys are going to start with intent, but they won't be reckless at the same time. But potentially I could see Fury looking for bigger power punches later on, if the fight is close. And I have actually been warming up to a potential stoppage late on for Huey Fury. But coming back to it again, 
This fight boils down to what does Kubrat Pulev have left in the tank at 37 years old and 18 months out of the ring. If Pulev is faded to any extent, rusty, whatever, and we just don't know right now, then Fury might well be able to get on top and stay on top. And the uncertainty of what Pulev may or may not be able to do, it certainly influenced my pick. And I am predicting Huey Fury to come through this and win this fight. But in any event, both men have stated their desire to get through this fight to get their IBF mandatory shot at Anthony Joshua. And there is an outside chance that the winner could face Joshua in April 2019. Certainly if it's not then, it will be shortly thereafter. Neither would be favourite, I don't think, to win that fight, but both might be able to do some things to give Joshua some trouble. But anyway, who are you picking for this weekend? Huey Fury or Kubrat Pulev, and why? Let me know. Drop a comment, loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.